So here is why not all red tinted blue light blocking glasses are created equal. I'm going to show a live measurement with the spectrocolor meter. And as you can see here, this is the graph and the uh, emission of light that is coming from LED bulbs that we all use in our homes, down the street, and the malls. Now, the nighttime glasses, for the nighttime glasses to be efficient, they need to eliminate 100% of the blue, 100% of the green, and decrease the brightness by 15 times. This is a brand that is very well known. They sell a very expensive product, and they promise to eliminate all blue and green light. So let's test this. So as you can see in the graph, there's a lot of light leakage that is entering in the blue light as well as in the green light. And the glasses are not efficiently dropping the color temperature as well as the brightness of light. Therefore, they're not very efficient to use at night. They're better than nothing, to be honest, but they're not the optimal solution, especially when you're paying $150, $160 for a pair like this. So let's compare this to the Viva Ray's nighttime lenses. So as you can see in the graph, the Viva Ray's glasses eliminate all of the blue and 100% of the green up to 570 nanometer. They drop the color temperature to 1000 Kelvin which is the exact color temperature of the uh, uh, amber coil at the end of the bonfire. So this is the difference between the evening and the nighttime. These glasses are designed to be worn one hour before bed. They're gonna make it really dark and they're gonna tell your brain that it's nighttime so that you can maximize the sleep hormone, melatonin, as well as growth hormone. And this gives your body the opportunity to prepare for a restful night's sleep so that you can heal, repair, and rejuvenate while sleeping like we are designed to do.